Nestled deep in the heart of the Yorkshire Dales, Victoria Cave is a captivating natural wonder that was serendipitously uncovered in 1837. While on a routine rabbit hunt, local gamekeeper Michael Herrera and his companions stumbled upon a concealed fissure behind a cluster of limestone boulders. This accidental discovery opened the gateway to a subterranean world rich with ancient secrets, offering an unprecedented glimpse into England's prehistoric past. The cave's entrance, choked with limestone deposits and rubble, hinted at the untouched treasures within. When Herrera and his group first ventured inside, they encountered a vast chamber adorned with stalactites and stalagmites, indicating that the cave had remained undisturbed for millennia. The find quickly captured the interest of local naturalists and archaeologists, eager to explore its depths and uncover its mysteries. By the 1840s, Victoria Cave had become a focal point for archaeologists and paleontologists. The Yorkshire Philosophical Society, recognizing the cave's potential to reveal insights into ancient history, organized the first systematic excavation in 1844. This early exploration established the cave as a key site for studying the prehistoric and paleontological history of the region. The cave's contents reveal a vivid snapshot of the lives of both humans and animals that once inhabited the area. Findings from Victoria Cave can be categorized into three significant phases, Paleolithic tools, flora, and Roman artifacts. Each phase not only highlights specific historical periods but also reflects broader trends in human behavior. The Paleolithic tools, dating back around 12,000 to 13,000 years, include flint blades and scrapers. These tools, essential for butchering animals, crafting clothing, and other survival tasks, suggest that prehistoric humans used the cave as a temporary shelter during their hunting trips. The presence of reindeer and other animals in the surrounding tundra-like environment would have attracted hunters to the area, further enriching our understanding of ancient human activity. One of the most intriguing aspects of Victoria Cave is the evidence of tool-making activities within its depths, suggesting that the cave served not only as a shelter but also as a workshop or base camp. Prehistoric humans likely used the cave's natural protection from the elements and its strategic vantage point over the valley to manufacture and repair their tools, making it an ideal spot for monitoring game movements. The remains of the flora found in the cave paint a picture of a cold, open landscape vastly different from the lush Yorkshire Dales we know today. Species such as the woolly rhinoceros, reindeer, and Irish elk were adapted to survive harsh winters with their thick fur and fat reserves. Among the most striking finds are the bones of the woolly rhinoceros, an extinct species closely related to the modern Sumatran rhinoceros. This discovery underscores the dramatic shifts in climate and habitat since the Ice Age and highlights the changes in mammal populations over millennia. Later layers of the cave reveal a different phase of use, with the discovery of Roman coins and ornate brooches dating from the 1st to the 4th centuries AD. These artifacts suggest that the cave was not merely a habitation site but also held ceremonial significance. The coins and jewelry may have been offerings related to local religious practices or cults that revered natural features like springs or caves as sacred sites. This continuity of use, from a prehistoric shelter to a Roman ceremonial site, reflects a broader European pattern where natural features were consistently revered across different cultures and epochs. Comparing Victoria Cave with contemporary sites, such as the Chave Cave in France, reveals intriguing patterns in human behavior. While both caves contain prehistoric art and artifacts, Victoria Cave was primarily used for practical purposes like shelter and tool production. In contrast, Chave Cave is renowned for its spectacular Paleolithic cave paintings. This comparison underscores the diverse ways prehistoric humans interacted with their environments, reflecting our shared human heritage. The exploration of Victoria Cave has significantly impacted the field of archaeology, particularly in how archaeologists understand and interpret historical layers. The meticulous excavation and recording methods employed in the 19th century, focusing on stratigraphy, the study of rock layers and their order, established a clearer timeline of human and animal activity in the region. These early efforts set new standards for the field, and subsequent excavations throughout the late 19th and 20th centuries continued to refine our understanding. With modern techniques such as radiocarbon dating and DNA analysis, our grasp of the past has become increasingly precise. These advanced technologies have enabled archaeologists to date artifacts and remains with greater precision. Ongoing explorations of Victoria Cave highlight its significance in reconstructing human history. 
Continuing our exploration of significant archaeological sites, let's turn to Chave Cave in the Ardèche region of southern France. Discovered in 1994 by Jean-Marie Chave and his team, this cave is a treasure trove of Paleolithic art, featuring some of the oldest and most remarkable prehistoric artworks known to humanity. The cave walls are adorned with vivid paintings and engravings that offer a unique glimpse into the lives and beliefs of early humans who lived around 30,000 to 32,000 years ago. The discovery of Chave Cave was somewhat accidental. On December 18, 1994, Jean-Marie Chave, Elliot Brunel, and Christian Hilaire noticed a draft emanating from a cliff and decided to investigate. They uncovered a narrow passage leading to a network of chambers sealed by a rockslide approximately 25,000 years ago, which preserved the cave's contents in exceptional condition. Chave Cave is renowned not only for the antiquity of its art but also for its variety. The cave walls feature over 1,000 images, including horses, lions, rhinos, bison, mammoths, and even human figures. These images are rendered with astonishing detail and sophistication, employing advanced artistic techniques that convey depth and motion. The artists used perspective drawing and the cave's natural contours to enhance the images, creating a three-dimensional effect. Techniques such as charcoal and red ochre were used to produce rich colors, and shading was employed to add a dynamic quality to the artworks. Some figures were painted in a series of superimposed images, creating a sequential effect similar to frames of a film, suggesting movement. Chave Cave is a pivotal site for studying the Aurignacian culture, known for its advanced tools and artistic expression. The well-preserved artwork offers insights into both the artistic practices and the social and spiritual lives of its creators. Radiocarbon dating places the earliest paintings at around 32,000 years old, making them among the oldest known human-created artworks. The depiction of predatory animals and rare human-animal hybrid figures hints at a complex belief system, possibly including shamanic elements, indicative of sophisticated cognitive abilities and rich cultural traditions. To preserve the fragile environment of Chave Cave, it is not open to the public. Instead, a replica cave, known as the Pont d'Arc Cavern, was opened in 2015, allowing visitors to experience a faithful reproduction of the artwork and cave conditions.